Hello Commanders and let's continue our fight against the Eastern European team you saw in the last part where we destroyed their uh, city of Minsk which is the base of operation of all of their air force uh, it was a successful operation there but Russia has launched a very severe counter-attack with these stealth air superiority fighters with the combination with max level cruise missiles I really suffered a lot of casualties from these assaults and we are going to continue our fight here on the borders of Belarus now it's the sixth episode and we cannot destroy their first line of defenses we destroyed the city of Grodno, Brest etc but we couldn't really uh, perform the blitzkrieg attack we couldn't really uh, break their first line of defense we are still trying hard hitting and running with our multiple rocket launchers our air force was pretty much static it was useless why because of those stealth air superiority fighters to be honest I really thought that our max level SAMs they will be enough to destroy all of those air superiority fighters but looks like and you saw with your own eyes in the last part how our SAMs they did not engage those stealth air superiority fighters maybe because of the patrol time of the 10 minutes because you know that uh, the uh, anti-air it needs 10 minutes to uh, be searching for hostile uh, units and those uh, stealth air superiority fighters they pop up and they disappear quickly this is why my uh, anti-air it did not engage those uh, uh, stealth air superiority fighters which literally make made things complicated because now Russia is using his stealth air superiority fighters uh, like with all freedom he is uh, uh, targeting our helicopters the Polish helicopters and he is also targeting those isolated units without um, anti-missiles and without SAMs to launch some cruise missiles on, on them uh, uh, in the last episode and this one uh, we saw a lot of um, a lot of uh, critical moments where our own tier did not engage those stealth air superiority fighters and if our anti-air did engage that it will be a turnover in the battle because uh, Russia is going to um, receive a lot of casualties and it's going to be significant there where we are going to make things balanced here but also I'm going to say that today's episode is going to be the last episode of the battle between uh, Germany and Russia and you have to keep watching till the end like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be able to see the result of this battle so I want now to stop this video here and write in the comments do you think that Germany is going to win or Russia is going to win and let's see if your opinion is going to be correct now let's proceed with this video and let's proceed with the battle between the two biggest strongest nations Germany and Russia here I'm trying to uh, target those artilleries those multiple rocket launchers of Romania I have these three stacks of uh, strike fighters I've been doing a lot with these three strikers because to be honest they were not very important in the build in the in the beginning so I found myself I have a lot of components and electronics and I said why not I make some uh, strike fighters so now I'm using these three stacks like I'm really trying to uh, target those units without SAMs and look at this it was a successful one I literally destroyed one stack of multiple rocket launches there of Romania that's that's a very successful one because whenever you destroy a stack of multiple rocket launches it's a bonus for us because here what makes things complicated is those multiple rocket launches they have because they are stopping us from advancing and here their team is using a lot of uh, agents on us so I'm going to try to uh, plant some counter ops in my capital Berlin to be able to not uh, corrupt it with uh, and corrupt the morale our own tier is uh, detecting something and uh, Russia is sending more cruise missiles okay I have a lot of anti-missiles here let's see what will happen to those cruise missiles will my anti-missile destroy them okay the first one has been intercepted and the second one what happened to the second one why my other anti-missiles they was not activated damn Sweden he lost his tank stack his armory division and I did not why the stack of anti-missile by its side it did not attack that cruise missile to be honest I have seen a lot of weird things in this battle to be honest because I don't know how the anti-air is, is working here a lot of 
cruise missiles have been passing through safely with a lot of freedom, destroying our units, destroying our tanks without our anti-missiles doing their work. The Sams, they are not even doing their work against those stealth air superiority fighters, they don't understand. Okay, so that's uh, that's a good one. We uh, we landed some damage there with those strike fighters. Looks like my three stacks of strike fighters they did a lot of damage than all of our air force. Uh, we destroyed two multiple rocket launchers from that stack, but it had uh, mobile anti-air, so this is why I received some damage. Uh, the front here in the city of Grodno is still underway. We are trying to break through again the Austrian. National Guards, they are trying to uh, gain some uh, uh, lands for us. Also, Nor Norway with this stack of anti-tanks and uh, uh, mobile anti-air is trying to advance to at least establish, establish contact with one of their stacks of um, multiple rocket launchers. And this is my Romanian front here with my two stacks. They are still intact, to be honest, but here things are pretty much dangerous. Why? Because um, I was escorted by, by a Swedish uh, stack of mobile anti-air, but now that Swedish stack has is dead and now I only have Sams here. So if Russia and uh, Finland have the idea to attack me with those um, attack helicopters, I have nothing to do to them unless Poland sends his air superiority fighters. So here Finland is using his retail wing officer to destroy the Norwegian stack of uh, anti-tank and uh, mobile anti-air. There are a lot of land radars there near the city of Minsk. They do not want to end, they do not want to die. Bro, I have been I have been fighting them all day long now and they did not fall. Like, what is happening here? <laughs> oh, what happened here? Looks like oh no, I lost all of my air force in the city of Krakow. Oh damn. Um, it was a nuclear cruise missile from the stealth air superiority fighters that I was speaking about, you see? So it looks like this is a turnover in this battle because uh, I lost my air force and also Poland lost a lot of helicopters there in the city of Krakow. Um, our mistake that we did not put also anti-missiles and SAMs there in that city, the same mistake that uh, the Eastern European team did with Minsk. And uh, uh, Russia has used this uh, flow, has used this uh, window to use his stealth air superiority fighters and kill those aircraft. Here I, here I separated my SAMs to be able to destroy those Finnish air superiority fighters. The SAMs, they are doing their work, to be honest. But, like usual, Russia, he is launching more cruise missiles on my stack of multiple rocket launchers. So that stack of multiple rocket launchers is dead. From 10, from 9 to 3, that's a huge blow there. You see here, we are losing a lot of land armies, we are losing our stacks, and things are pretty much ending here. I'm sad to say this, guys, but we lost the fight. Yes, I'm so sorry I disappointed you guys. I know that you want us to win and you wanted the Germany to continue in this competition but uh, we faced a very tough enemy the Eastern European team was well organized and the administrative work of me that I kept uh, dealing with problems in this battle royale they literally kept me busy and stressed this is why I did not perform 100% I'm so sorry guys so um, yeah the Meliodas team lost his battle and now let's have a look at the other teams. This is the South African team led by Ian and the Central African team led by Invictus. They are having a huge battle. And the two Americas, the North American team and the South American team, they are fighting here and we can see that the South American team has taken all of Colombia that belongs to the Northern team. This is uh, Egypt, the North African team and these are our forces so we are forced to retreat we are going back uh, to uh, Berlin and checkmate so we are going to the edge of the map because this is what the rules say we are surrendering here because but the good thing that you will see Meliodas in the final battle don't worry guys you will see me again see ya and bye bye